I know what you can do with the nightingale, Sean. What can we do with the nightingale? You can shove I, it up your. <laughs> I, know, <laughs> I know a hollow that is uh, a perfect hiding spot for all sorts of wildlife. Ah. Like, like or a flute. Yeah, flute would fit in there too. Dude, let me let me tell you, there <laughs> it's is. Like a pipe. <laughs> well, yeah, because there comes a point where you just try to shove everything and everything else, and try to see if yeah. it works. You're like, what is? Does he want a lamp? Let me try to give him a, a coin and a flute. I remember when we were um, we were playing King's Quest Seven. There's this guy who you just show him an item and he tells you a rhyme with that item. So if that you showed him a flute, he would talk about an old sailor boot. And you, 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 there was a there was a ring of cheese in a pond, and, and Sean and I had to get it. We needed the pond cheese because um, we were going to give it to another living creature we cared about, and it'd been floating in a pond for days. So we figured we're so nice. Floating. Adventure game logic. So we so we, we couldn't get it. You'd reach for it and be like, "Well, I can't do that. I'll fall in and get wet." And I'm like, so get Fluting. wet and dry off and get the cheese. Like, it made no sense, but, you know, adventure game logic. And what you had to do was take a really important, valuable book, give it to the guy, and then he would give you a hook oh. that you could use. And the only way Sean and I figured that out is by, like, we were showing him, like, rings and, like, sheep <laughs> and sticks. And he kept saying things that were almost awful. He's like, what a perfectly broken stick. How about a fat deer tick? Like, <laughs> little rhyming man, be careful. All right, so. Well. By the breeze of the sea, we should go that way sometime. I think it's time to go eyeball then. Let's let, let's finger the gate. Alexander doesn't want to intrude on private property yeah, unless he's been invited. No, he wants to intrude on private property. He totally does. The gate is closed. It appears that the house's owners like their privacy. I don't know if that's true. I think we should just be able to charge in like this is Ultima. And every house is my house. This is Ultima. <laughs> the entrance to the house is a time worn <gasps> wooden door. Bill, what's your read on the situation right now? Um, well, uh, I think that uh, eventually we're going to have to get invited. Like a. Like a goddamn vampire. <laughs> um, <laughs> and until then, I think we should just keep going. All right, I'm gonna do it. Good day. I'm Alexander. What are you doing in the sea? Just rocking that scarf. What does it look like I'm doing? I'm swimming. Uh oh. I mean, come join me. The water's wonderful. I can show you the way to the next island. Yeah, you keep saying that. Shall we, shall we, should we show our finger in the water? Why does he have a tiny Noah's Ark? <laughs> <laughs> That's strange. The young boy in the water just disappeared. Undertow. Oh, well, perhaps he just dove Undertow. under the water. He's done. Go, go, you better get the him. The waters it's... in this cove appear calm, but there's a dimpling pattern to the surface, which indicates an undertow. Dimpling. A the dim surface is dimpling, Sean. Oh my god, dimpling patterns indicate there's undertoes a, and collagen. There's a cellulitis pattern in the water. <laughs> a cream cheese breeze. <laughs> Princess Cosima was such a pretty thing and she was terribly upset. But who could be spreading these lies, she asked the queen. But the queen had no answer. Dude, oh this guy's just really <laughs> weird details. She was there yeah. to keep the peace between the islands. What a pretty thing she was. Anyways, things went wrong. What a beautiful, beautiful princess she was. <laughs> when, is, when is the last time that you literally quoted someone during conversation? When you when you like <laughs> cited a thing that they said verbatim with tone is that is that your question? Yeah, exactly. That's, that's what I'm talking about. I don't know yeah, if I've done that, Sean. Yeah. I... <laughs> Normally, I blow it way out of proportion, or I say whatever I would want the other person to hear to make me sound right. Uh, dude, you need a ring. Of what? What was this? The mint. We just got that mint from him. Let me offer the mint to him. I took a mint. 
Help yourself. <laughs> that is what they are there for. It's like, we need like this mint, and there's just like a bowl of them right there. I'm like, uh, for a magical map. I value this mint very highly, so, you know. I took a mint. <laughs> You're the most honest man in the world. <laughs> he just tells strangers about his love for a woman he hallucinated in a mirror. Who he let his all his shipmates die for, and he's just running around the island scampering, asking, "Do you know where the princess is?" And he just takes mint, and he's like, "This is mine now!" And he runs away. <laughs> I took a mint. Say it again. I took a mint. <laughs> Help yourself. That is what they are there for. <laughs> Just, it's like when a two-year-old is like, I went potty. You know, it's like, come on, don't be so juvenile. You're on an island, man. Be mature. <laughs> yes, the ball literally says take one. <laughs> Can you put it on the branch? I can't can I do this. Use here. it? There's kind of there's like a convenient branch. The Over mechanical the nightingale's hard tin body doesn't feel anything like mm. a real bird's soft feathers. But it'll do. Let me, let me look. <laughs> we can we can set fire to the bookshop. The I'll take the flute. Very good, sir. Enjoy the flute. Remember that I would always take it back in trade. Remember, I do not value financial stability. <laughs> I do this mainly as a hobby. <laughs> Can you play the flute? You know, let me let me first look through this because he said he was gonna throw out the old wizard stuff earlier on. So let oh, me. Oh, Sean! A large round pot is one of the pottery pieces on display outside the shops. All right, sh old lamp. Shut up. <laughs> Dude, dude, when he finally gets the princess and he's like laying her down in bed, he's gonna pop out and be like, "Old lamps for new, old lamps for new." <laughs> old the princess's hard new. body isn't anything like a real one. <laughs> <laughs> Alexander examines the large pot. It's currently empty, but a few scraps in the bottom <laughs> indicate that it is used as a dump site on occasion. Tick. <laughs> the princess's hard tin body is something like for real. Old lamps for new. Shut up! Old Shut lamps up. for new. I gotta look at the screen. <laughs> I nice. and a warning about the map. It will only operate when you are out in the open and within sight of the sea. The limitation has something to do with the teleport spell ingredients. You might try the beach. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Let's tell a Puerto. And I'll remember about the map. The limitations have to do with programming. You know. <laughs> Stand on the Suddenly, starting screen. The old man. You're beast hunting. By the way, can I just address the fact that that is the most obstacle looking thing I've ever seen? <laughs> it is. Well, let's check it that out. Is, that is a the opposite of an invisible wall. The, path. the water boils as if over some magical flame. Go in it. <laughs> Make sure to save you your game and go in it. Alexander oh, decides no. to brave the boiling pond. Oh, okay. I didn't save. I hope you saved. Yeah! And soon realizes a deep sympathy for soup vegetables as he learns the true meaning of being in a stew. <gasps> oh, oh my god. god! Oh no, not the- oh. Oh, oh god. Oh, god. <laughs> Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. It looks like Alexander's in a bit of a stew. That's not like a pun. Looks like Alexander's oh. a little bit boiled alive. <laughs> Alexander pulls out his magic. Just look at my beautiful weaving. It's so light, so delicate. Oh You'll never oh want to leave God. my little nest. Hmm. It is a lovely web, but my heart is elsewhere, I'm afraid. <laughs> Don't drag it! Uh, I mean, the loss is yours. I'm sure you'll change your mind once you consider the advantages. 
You know, we've climbed into a six-foot-tall vagina. Music. Yeah, like eight times. So, so this I is... I never knew Alexander Phillips no, play no, about spiders. I, I, I'd like to believe that this is all going on in Alexander's head. <laughs> Yay, Gads! Is that cold? Yeah! Ow! I talk to chess pieces and marry women in advance. I'm Alexander. <laughs> <laughs> Alexander style. Seriously, if you think Facebook stalking is creepy, play King's Quest VI, where yeah, you help a guy. Stalking. Yeah, Island. So he's like teleporting around on a map, collecting junk, and just <laughs> handing junk to people arbitrarily to marry a girl he hasn't talked to in a long time that he's convinced he saw in a mirror and he told his mom. <laughs> Dude, we should change the name of the show to Mostly Stalking. <laughs> Alexander. Um, you know, Bill, I wanna, I wanna defer to you here. Um, I mean, Sean's okay. been helping us a lot with some of the histories of things. He's been thinking about it all week, and Bill, I don't know. I, I'm just confused and lost. And I really, I, you're someone I look up to. You're someone whose guidance I appreciate, who I respect, and I know that whatever you say here, really, I'm probably gonna remember for years. Can you repeat the question? Or? <laughs> Got a flute, here it comes, flute time! Oh yes, oh yeah. The fluting. Alexander plays a lovely little tune on the flute. It's so condescending. Thanks, patronizing fluting. narrator. <laughs> Alexander tries real hard and does okay. <laughs> <laughs> Alexander right. could do that for a living. <laughs> Don't quit your day job, Alexander. <laughs> Thanks, Quest Checkmate. 6. Only chess pieces allowed in chessboard land. Oh, no. That's right. Humans aren't allowed in and never will be. Stay out. Facebook is free and always will be. <laughs> I see you have it looks proven yourself every time. the hero of the prophecy. Let's hear more. Well, I am expected to thank you for saving my daughter's life. So, I thank you. <laughs> it is oh, also my duty to grant you a visit with the Oracle. So this I do. Mm. I will grant you the freedom to leave here unharmed, despite my orders to the contrary from the Crown. But there, my obligations to you end. My guards will take you to the Oracle now. When your time with her is through, I want you to oh, leave yeah. the city of the Winged Ones and never return. You're a total douche, but seriously, I guess thank you or something. Sweet, lawful, neutral dude. What else to see, mighty oracle? Ah! Oh. oh, such pain. You've gone through a bony she... vagina hundreds of times, haven't you? <laughs> spirits crying out. Alexander decides to swallow the potion in the bottle labeled Drink Me to see what I'm, happens. I'm terrified. I'm terrified. Oh Just god, see what happens? Suddenly, his vision fades to black. His lungs become too heavy to breathe. His heartbeat slows. Oh my god, he's at a rave! <laughs> oh, here comes the drop! Oh! <laughs> wow. Then, beats no more. The heart? The sentence the was heart. too far apart. I yeah, assume it was. there was a heart Suddenly, previously. His heart takes a lurch, then beats strong. Yeah! <laughs> and then it stops again. Like that of a newborn. <laughs> his vision clears, and oh, Alexander feels God. fine. What the fluting? For a minute there, I thought, what if someone else had seen me and thought, Sounds. Wait, I have, a, I have an idea. What if we try talking to them and immediately take the potion that makes it look like we die? What if we do that every time we talk to someone? <laughs> if we just do that constantly? It'll be our thing. So, well, let me put this in my collection of 
mysterious poisons, old tomatoes, and hair. Alexander takes the side. <laughs> uh, three of them? I, I, I suppose it is simply my nature to break through enchanted traps. <laughs> like a boss. <laughs> you must be a prince. I know the nature of princes all the <clears throat> This face you see before you is hideous, is it not? Yeah. Well, for the face of a beast, it is really quite noble. Y what? Ha! I'm glad you like it, for you will soon own one just like it. That's what oh! I too was once a pretty prince. <laughs> nice answer, Alex. for nothing Alex. but adventuring and rescuing <laughs> fair maidens. But I rankled one too many evil hags. One dark <laughs> night, I was turned into this Maybe stop calling them warped, evil hags. Warped in shape, you are doomed to be trapped in the form of a beast. Your reward for broaching this garden is to be yeah. my slave. A slave broaching. as beastly as That's I pretty am. Good. You have only a few hours of humanity left. My problem is this, right? What's the evidence that we've actually been cursed, first of all? And second of all, it sounds like the curse is only about turning into a beast. It sounds like the slavery part he made up. <laughs> yeah. He's just... He's just... Ri well, especially with Alex's really nice comments. Like, I'm ugly, aren't I? He's like, well... I mean, for a beast, you look very noble. <laughs> It's not gonna make anyone happy. It's like, oh, well, you don't sweat much for a fat person. Like, what am I supposed yeah. to do with that, Alexander? Like, we I'm there. Hello, need not sentence you to endure this face. Oh, but it is a gentle face and kind. It's not. He's kind of an ass. You look it's at me so noble. And are not repulsed. Oh, by the light of your eyes, my spirit soars. <laughs> The enchantment! Yeah. It is broken! Uh, George Washington! Yeah. I am pleased to have served you, my lord. Oh god, he's gonna sign a constitution! To stay. What? Oh, shit. Speak not such nonsense, beauty. Speak to the ear holes on my head. Did I learn nothing of true love during my time here? From now on, you I shall not queen. be a Hancock. <laughs> oh, my clothes! Wait, how did he learn about true love? Trapped in a castle for a hundred years. And why is she wearing a Russian nesting doll? <laughs> I'm sure. You have already repaid me by your example of courage, people. And by your friendship, I hope. I'd call that courage, yeah. You will always have That's the word I'd use. And loyalty, Prince Alexander. Thanks, but second voice actor for the character. <laughs> takes advice. If you find your true love, protect her with your life. We're all beasts. What? The redeeming humanity of love. No, go ahead, Bill. Go ahead. Well, in this case, it's very simple. We needed, uh, we got a ring, and then we traded a ring for a woman. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we we were worried that we wouldn't be able to get our girlfriend, so we began to do human trafficking. We yeah, just, we, yeah. We went to the, the only person that we have met in the game who's been only yelled at. <laughs> gave her a rose first to get her to we, talk to us to just trick her into marrying somebody. We cleverly found the person in the in the kingdom with the lowest standards. <laughs> right? You look like you have low self-esteem. Do you want to be married to someone forever on another <laughs> island? Oh. At uh, lightning speed, too. It's like, yeah, remember yeah. this girl? Well, she and the beast who haven't met are in love Done. Here's a mirror, and I'm like, <gasps> and then there's an evil badger, and I'm like, I'm gonna show the mirror to the badger, and then I'm gonna hear another one of those, Boo -doo -doo. and you know th that ring sort of I think is uh, I was expecting that the more often we heard that, Boo -doo -doo, we would get more excited as the game goes on, but I think we're just getting more shocked. We're just like, <laughs> I can't yeah. believe that did something. <laughs> yeah. Use yeah, the but butter on the door, and then it's like. It's like, the door is delicious, and Alexander eats his way through, having buttered the door. Like, <laughs> this is going to be, like, I, I think that the end of this game is going to be a lot like the last episode of Battlestar Galactica. <laughs> oh! Say it! Say it! Say it! 
Come on, say come it. On. So, come on. Come on. Come on, say it. Old lamps for new. Oh! Old lamps for new. I'll, I'll, I'll do a water right there. Over my dead body, your highness, it's my lamp of coal, and it is indeed larger and much grander. Just look at that sheen. I demand you exchange with me immediately. What are you going to do? <laughs> <laughs> ah, queens and coal. Uh... <laughs> wow, I, I just like, I just am not compelled by that. I just imagine two of them being like, no. "Now I will send in the royal pencil sharpener. Whatever will we do without a second pencil sharpener?" And then does that, and Alexander's like, "I, I'm going to Target in like an hour. I can get you guys like a pencil sharpener if you need a pencil sharpener." What do you think you're doing? You startled me. We I was just getting some like swamp things. Well, you certainly won't get it there. That's not Swamp Ooze! That's Swamp Muck! He's right, you know. But he could be a little nicer about telling you he's not a very pleasant stick in the mud. Oh! Uh. Nobody asked you! Be quiet! <sighs> oh, <coughs> the trials of being a mere bump on a log. Oh, no! <laughs> oh, did you see that? Wait, no, let me, I guess I'm gonna talk to him now. Perhaps you could toss me some swamp ooze, since you seem to be able to recognize it. I can only reach this bit by the path. Well, because hoity, I refuse hoity, to go who's any who's further. Mr. Watt so much? You think I got a job here passing around precious swamp matter? You should be so lucky! He's an utter waste of oxygen. I'd save my breath if I were you. Well, let me talk to the bump in the... Who are you? I'm Bump on a Log, and that's my brother, Stick in the Mud. We've had this thing about each other ever since our childhood. Mom always liked me best. She did not! That is absolutely not true! He's a bit lazy, you see. <laughs> He's got the only swamp ooze in the swamp right next to him. But do you think he'd move a finger to help you get some? Hardly. He tried to brain you with it more than likely. His temper's about the only thing that ever gets a workout, and that on yours truly. Oh! Like you've moved it all in the last century! Like you're Mr. Physical Activity! <laughs> just because I can't reach anything, he thinks he can throw gushy swamp matter at me and just say whatever he likes. If only I could turn the tables on that heckler, he might learn some respect. But as you can see, I'm a mere bump on a log, and must be content <laughs> with my lot. P.S. I'm a bump on a log. Oh, shut up! You couldn't hit the broad side of a barn even if you had something to throw. Just shut up! <laughs> you see how he is? By the way, I'm a bump on a log. This is this is unnecessary conversation island. So it hasn't the, the screeching is still there, but I'm gonna keep talking and see if they'll tell me to do something. Okay. Is there anything I can do to make peace between you two? I there he was saying he could like he would throw He swamp needs a good thrashing at you I or expect. something. I don't know. However, since you cannot go into the swamp, nor can I fight back, he will simply have to be born. Such is the life of a bump on a log. Why can't you go into the swamp? <laughs> Wait, look, I don't know. But really, you're gonna I... die. Never! I got your swamp ooze right next to me, and that's where it's gonna stay. This swamp ooze is mine! Period. Okay, well, the other object that we collected right here was the tomato. That's Am true. That was like right here. Perhaps I can help you out by. Ooh. Throwing a rotten tomato at stick in the mud for you. Perhaps I can help really? you out. <laughs> um, I appreciate the gesture, but the swamp is broader than it looks. Only a native like myself would be able to hit him from here. What? Well, then give it to him. What? I this might come He's in handy arms? the next time your brother starts picking on you. Aha! Finally, old bump on the logs not so defenseless, is he? 
Hey! Where did hey! You get what are you from? doing there? Watch the pump, would ya? Now, Bumpy, remember all I've given you! The only thing you've ever given me is Wait, mud! Is this gonna kill Take him? This. Is this like... No! This is like... Not into the Oh my god! Swamp. What have we done? What have we done? Oh my god, are we go what are we gonna do? Oh no, oh my god, oh tick. Can we give him Oh. Jesus! Jesus! Hey, okay, I give up! This is like Jeez. the scene It's like Godfather. Cain and Abel with Gilbert well, Gottfried's all around. I think it's very pleasant having things thrown at you. I'm sorry. I don't know. You mean it? Really? Brother. Brother. Stick in the mud and bump on a log, exhausted from the battle, immediately doze off into naps. Rotten Tomato, being <laughs> equally lazy, decides to join them. Mm. Are you... What? Everyone just fell asleep. The end. <laughs> no longer, no longer narratively convenient, everybody just falls asleep. <laughs> yeah, it's just... And at that point in time, everyone in Hogwarts just was asleep so Harry could do what he needed without... No, no, an invisible cloak probably makes more sense. Probably makes more sense than everyone being asleep. And then went to go collect some of the swamp, and then suddenly two inanimate objects began arguing, and we decided to just give one of them, like, basically a gun. Like, well, you guys fight a lot. Would this gun help? And the guy was like, yeah, I need a gun! And we just stood away until they fell asleep. <laughs> I feel like fell asleep is a euphemism now. I feel like Alexander's, uh, like, shipwreck, stress-torn mind, uh, has manufactured <laughs> a little <laughs> fantasy <laughs> because he can't deal with the reality of what he just did. Wait, let, let's, let's listen to exactly what he Fluting. says here and try not to get mad, okay? Let's just listen to exactly what Alex Alexander says when he sees a Fluting. skull, when he sees a skull, when, hold on, let me just open up our magical <laughs> booklet and just note that on the second page of the book, third page of the book, whatever it is, okay, look at this, a skull full of hot oak embers, a skull, a <laughs> skull full, to which Alexander says, Alexander can think of less desirable things <laughs> to carry around than that animal skull but not many. He decides to leave it alone. Why would you Fluting. do that? You just, Alexander! Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. Uh, I don't understand. Oh There's a book that's like, you need a skull. And he's looking at the book and he's looking at the skull. He's looking at the book. He's looking at the skull and he goes, I don't I just... need a skull. Why would I? I can think of few things less desirable than a skull. <laughs> like he's he, he's a little tick about it too. He's not like <laughs> yeah. the skull is too heavy for Alexander to hold. It's like, hey, idiot, controlling Alexander. You want a skull? That is stupid. I'm like, you told me I needed a skull. It's in your book. You need it full of like milk and fireflies or whatever it is. <laughs> yeah. I just got done talking to a bump in a log. A bump in a log. A bump in a log. And now you tell me I need a skull, and here's a skull, and I can't get the skull because my character is a fat deer tick. I don't understand, man. <laughs> oh no, f tick. Alexander doesn't want to disturb that skeleton. He seems to have all his bones intact. And is this like a any weird moral thing for him? Alex <laughs> Alexander feeds the cup of swampoos to the skeleton on the ground. What? What is he doing? I took a mint. I took a mint. <laughs> the, <laughs> the skeleton doesn't look thirsty any longer, but doesn't seem to mind that Alexander took the mint. <laughs> Let me just pick this. Alexander picks up the skull. <laughs> why, why does he pick up that skull? So he has we to find had an another skull! An incomplete <laughs> human skeleton. Wait. No, there's this another skull like 10 minutes ago! <laughs> we made fun of me for trying to pick this skull up! Ah, oh, tick! What is going on? I don't understand! What's so bad about the animal skull? <laughs> oh, God. If you just go there with your skull, you'll probably just fill it up. Oops! Yeah.
No. Oops. Oops. No. no what? No. Oh what? my god. Tick. What the <laughs> flute? Oops. Oh no. Copyright now. Alexander mountain. has plenty of time to rethink his logic as he falls. <laughs> Thing. Alexander climbs carefully down the, the stone hamburgers. <laughs> oh no. Just, oh no. Oh, oh no, gravity hey, is working left and right. <laughs> wow, it really hurts to sit down. I hope Cosima will still be into me. Uh, we have we just have the skull we took. Alexander skull of is arm. carrying a human skull. Why not? <laughs> why, why not have a human skull? Why, why not just literally carry that around with you wherever you go? <laughs> I'll name him Skullivan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, I've, I've, I've been reading Mindhunter uh, recently, and uh, if Alexander... Uh, starts bedwetting, uh, then he is literally spot on for the triad of becoming a serial killer. Carrying around human skulls, uh, 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 late bedwetting, and obsession with fire. And we're about to put some embers into a skull. This is like, I'm freaking out, man. Seriously, keep him away from children and ugh. Oh my god. And cereal. <laughs> <laughs> Oh God, Bill! <laughs> <laughs> Alexander oh, my out his magic map. <laughs> real time. Yeah, we're real, gonna five minutes real time. We're gonna put all in the ingredients properly and say the incantation, and nothing's gonna happen. And all of a sudden, yeah, Alexander's gonna be like, Casima, <gasps> and like cuss to Casima, <laughs> and she's just like, Ah, sorry, I was in a castle. You are away. I don't know different zip codes. My bad. My bad. Uh, <laughs> Uh, I know you were gonna go to hell for me, but if we could just have an open relationship status on Facebook, I'd be cool with that. <laughs> you know what? You know what? It's complicated. That's it's complicated. It's really kind of weird. There's the zero is oh, enemy, yeah. and I, I don't like you. <laughs> <laughs> I took a mint. Oh, Run! What? Oh Run! My God! Run! So slow. Uh, so wait! Slow. Why aren't Jesus they fast Christ. and slow? Go! <laughs> Go Run. between them! Talk to these people! <laughs> Run! No! Tick! Dude. Tick! Who are you, breathing spirit? <laughs> I am Queen Ilaria. And I have a theory. I have a theory. Are you, wait. Okay. Wait, are you? Right. Okay. Alright. I, I, here's my theory. If I reload this. Save? Did you save? I, save? I did save. Um, okay. N n I, I say right here. I think that. <laughs> I think that yeah, okay. no matter what speed I am, the zombies stay the same speed. Oh! I made it unnecessarily <laughs> hard for myself. <laughs> what the flute? <laughs> this is so stupid. <laughs> Only step forward, and thou shalt meet him shortly. No, thank you. <laughs> I've come to meet the Lord of the Dead with my flesh still intact. Thank you, son. Your love for our daughter must be deep indeed for you to have undertaken death itself for our sakes. <laughs> indeed. May we succeed in what awaits us and live long together as a family. <laughs> wow. Oh no. Oh, he went off and impressed the parents before talking to her. Oh, doesn't that suck? How's your boyfriend doing? We're not dating, Mom! God, just because you decided we need to get married. Well, he's really nice, and he went to hell to resurrect us. You should date him. Ah, uh, yes. Dead people? Now I remember. Femurs. What? Hey! The skeletons are overcome with the musical call of the bones. What They the begin what? to jiggle. Then to dance. To what? No, they oh. don't. That's not what they do. That's not what they did. What's happening, What's happening guys? Did we reload a different game? Is this still I King's Quest Six? I think we won the game, guys. I think this is the the good ending. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the guy in the armor. Look at him go! Oh my god! Oh man! <laughs> This has been King's Quest 6, <laughs> featuring Alexander.
and the skeleton crew. What is what is this even? What is this game? What is this game? What is this game? What the what? <laughs> Holy cow! <laughs> well, and that's how adventure games died. <laughs> Key. Alexander what? finishes his tune, and the skeletons resume their posts. Despite their frolic, they don't seem any friendlier. With trepidation, trepidation. Alexander gathers his strength for the enchantment of the painted door. <laughs> I can't wait. Magic paint, black as ink. Bring to life what I think. Make it real what I draw. According to <laughs> the spell worked. The door has magically solidified. Recording, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? Let me stop you right there. <laughs> Do you, Prince Alexander of Daventry, wow. and Princess Cosima, to be She's your wife, a Luigi, to yeah. love and to cherish <laughs> for as long as you both shall live, you may kiss the bride. Hooray! <laughs> Hooray! Um, and I think this is a good time for us to do an eerie, spooky closeout. Spooky clo I'll get my spooky closeout. <laughs> yeah, I been so. Oh no! Oh no. <laughs> okay, let me turn this down.